Hello, it's Alina from Eximate Mastery here. Today I want to discuss a tool called Import from Underlay. I've had a few questions in this past week about this tool. Uh, basically what it is is you would take a floor plan. It works really well with commercial or a residential that's a large home with large rooms. This works well. And you can take that blueprint or the, the architectural drawings, scan them in as a JPEG, and then we can import them into Xactimate in the sketch section of the program. And then we'll scan scale the sketch to the blueprints or the architectural plans, and then you can just sketch the whole floor plan and the roof plan using the roof walls uh, there onto the blueprint, and it's a beautiful thing. So it's a pretty cool tool. I think it's really underutilized by people, and so I wanted to go ahead and create a video on that today. So let's go take a look at how the import from underlay tool works. To start, you'll need your imported image already into a JPEG file. So you've got to have that saved somewhere on your desktop or wherever you like to file things away. You'll need to have that image available. Then you're going to open up a new estimate and go right over to the sketch tab here in the estimate. And then up here on the sketch bar, you're going to see tools and then options. We're going to go ahead and click options, which brings up different tools that are available here in Sketch. And then you'll see the import little icon. We're going to drop down the list under import and click import underlay image. So we'll click there. That's going to open up my file browser here. I'm just going to grab my imported image. And this is a commercial sketch that I have on my desktop. This is what the image looks like. It's a long commercial building divided into three little office spaces or maybe retail spaces here. As you can see, we have space one, two, and three. This one's longer. There's a dumpster enclosure and shows you all the doors and restrooms and everything else. So that's what the image looks like when it was scanned from the blueprints or the architectural plans. So we're going to go ahead and import that here into Xactimate. And as you can see, it's very tiny. So I like to zoom in or usually come in kind of small here. So I like to zoom in and kind of center myself, find the walls. There's that dumpster enclosure and uh, there's the restroom. So we're going to work here in this area of the floor plan. And it says here to set the scale, click one end of a line with a known length. Now here I can't confirm quite exactly where the seven foot, if they have it on center is what it looks like, uh, if it's on center here. But I'm going to go ahead and use these tick marks that they have on the floor plan to set this seven foot length. So I'm going to click once to start the line and then just, um, and I just clicked once guys, I'm not left click holding and dragging here. Clicked once to start the line and then I'm gonna try to get pretty much on that tick mark over here. Left click once to end the line. It's gonna ask me how long is that line? Well, my blueprint say seven foot, so we're gonna enter that. And now we have scaled the floor plan. So I'm gonna left click okay. It's going to place that imported image as an underlay here in Sketch for me to sketch over. This is what the Import from Underlay tool does. It sets you up for success just like this. So I'm going to zoom in, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab a room. And as you can see, we've got these dotted lines. Of course, the exterior dotted line is your exterior wall. The interior dotted line is your interior wall. So we'll just want to set those up here and try to get as close as we can. Uh, let's see with our exterior meeting up the exterior left click once and now our room is set and we can go ahead and draw this out over the floor plan and continue to draw out the walls and the room setting pretty much as much as you can over the underlay image that you have and this happens pretty quickly so it's um, actually really fun to do this. And I just kind of get it in, you know, pretty much over the wall as best I can. It's hard to match it up exactly on some of these plans. As you can see, the wall might be a little bit thicker here. Maybe I should adjust my walls. But in the real world, of course, you'll have all those dimensions and you'll be able to see what the wall thickness is on y'all's floor plan. So anyhow, that's how import from Underlay works. It is a fun tool to use, for definitely, if you know how to get it set up correctly. Uh, this can happen pretty fast with your sketch and getting the floor plan rolled out. So uh, you can also set the roof plan, of course, on top of this. So I've got all my rooms drawn here. Please excuse the little bit of uh, error we have with the exterior walls. Again, I think they're a little bit thicker than what I have set up as four inch. It might be six inch, 
but you get the idea here. Another thing that would help with this is to turn off the outline. Sometimes that will help with the transparency. So in your bottom right corner, you've got this little outline view and I can turn that on or off according to the rooms. So turning off the outline sometimes helps too uh, to see where your walls are ending up. So yeah, we definitely have exterior walls that are thicker than four inch and so that'll help me see that with the outline turned off. So now we can go ahead and place a roof onto this plan and I can go and add another new level here and just add the roof level just like this. And as you can see, I've got the outline of the floor plan below to guide me with my roof. So therefore, the floor plan has been based on the blueprint. Therefore, I should be okay drawing the roof plan here on this floor plan below. I can just use the interior dotted lines of the roof to snap this roof to the floor plan and that's how quickly and easily you can get your roof plan drawn once you draw the floor plan uh, below like as I said and you could just go ahead and place the roof the roof onto the uh, import from underlay if needed but in this instance I wanted to show you that the blueprint and the floor plan below is also useful if you need to go ahead and draw the floor plan and the roof plan you can do that as I have demonstrated. Otherwise, you could have just drawn the roof right onto this level using the import from underlay. So that is how import from underlay works. It's a really nice tool. Like I said, if you have large rooms in a home and or the home is expansive, or if you've got a commercial building, retail space, a hotel, this would work wonderful for. If you can get one of those evacuation plans and uh, for each level, and they kind of stack on top of each other once you start doing those multi-story. Uh, same with HOA. If you have a huge apartment complex, this really saves you some time with your sketch. If you like this video, please press the like button below. Also subscribe to this channel for updated videos. I release a new one every week. For more information on XM8 Mastery and what we do, we train restoration contractors how to use Xactimate, please visit our website at www.xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys have a really great week and I'll see you next Tuesday.